Okay, welcome back, guys. This is King of the Agamaki 13, and I'm playing this time. Alright, and we, of course, are playing Sly Cooper and the TV Circunus, brought to you by YouTube and GameAnyone.com. Was there one you wanted? Was there a mission you wanted me to play? Doesn't matter at this point, there's no more missions or anything. But we're going straight to the top! Oh, actually, I enjoy this level, so I'm glad I got to play it. Same here. Okay, oh, before we forget. Uh, the bottle was at the couch right off the top of the uh, balcony. Yeah, when we jumped down, there was that great leap of faith. And yeah, it's pretty obvious. It's at the right-hand side. Now be careful here because those cars will just fall as you just saw. So don't dilly-dally. And yes, I used that term. See those neon tubes? I know they look like you can't climb on them, but with your thieving skills, I bet you can. As you can see, no amount of force we have will physically be able to break the uh, the glass. So we're gonna have to just try some other methods. Oh, and uh, what was in the safe was, of course, the uh, blueprints. As I think Unlucky had either predicted or joked about, but that's what they were. So we now have those. They're the exact same thing as we had in Tides of Terror. See? So green for bottles, red for breakable objects, and it's extremely helpful in uh, these later sections because we want to 100% everything. Forget it! Your cane will never smash Oh that my god, glass. Bentley, we just went over this. You'll need something super heavy, like that big wrecky ball up there. Oh, Bentley. So, anybody watch any good movies lately? Uh, we actually have. Uh, we just recently saw Safe House. Yeah, that was pretty good. I thought it was good. Ryan Reynolds, not in a conventional role, but in a good role. Uh, he's done action roles before, though. I know, but they're still not conventional for him. What do you mean? He Conventionally, standard, oh, he, he is the comedy. a comedy guy. Uh, I guess where I could see where you'd say that, but at the same time, like I feel like he's done... Some rules before that don't meet your convention. You miss bottles. I did. Uh, behind you. I swear there's some down there. Oh, they are. Hello! Yeah, because the last time I was the one who played this level. Wow, there are a lot of bottles down here. Seriously, we even have the blueprints. That would have been embarrassing, viewers. So I like the little sections like this where there's a crud ton, because then it's like, oh, whoa, you know, it's an interesting use of the level, and I think that that, that speaks for the developers, so I just can't praise this game enough, I mean, obviously I can. Uh, no, I'm we sure really can. I'm sure you're tired of, tired of hearing us you're go. You're actually not. And if you are, you're actually not, you just think you are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's do a once-over with a Banaki cam after this, just to make sure we haven't missed anything. Sorry, one, I think. Some bottles over right there, and then to the top. Okay. Cool. So, as you can see, it does have a certain range to it. But it's so useful, guys. Oh, yeah, really. Yeah. Once you get the blueprints, you know, we kind of got lucky that that was the first thing we grabbed in this area. Yeah. It was? Yeah. Cut yeah. the two Murray missions. Right. So, we just did the, uh, you know, we're just kind of lucky. That was luck of the draw that we got that one the first time we came in here. Or would it have been more helpful if it was outside? Yeah, sure. Well, you know, of course. Unfortunately, that's just... They won't just, give it to you that early. Yeah, them's the breaks, you know? We're just lucky that we were able to get it this early on. So right now, uh, you know, I like the overall feel of these areas. They get a little bit more expansive uh, in later games. But just you can already tell that the game's just overall feel is just changes from each area. You know, it's different. And I think we're actually in the final ten for the uh, bottles. Yeah, probably. Oh, there's almost where there's a cutscene. Right. I find that those guys are probably the easiest enemies in the entire area. I think they're I'd agree. Uh, I think that they're easy too, yeah. Oh. 
But anyways, on to non-alcoholic related topics, because we already preached about that one. I don't know, did we really preach? Either? I don't know. Oh, nice. Hi. And that's why we, oh my, just move the camera, man. That's why you don't they have bad cameras, kids. I feel like there's others. Like other bottles that we missed, already. Yeah, there's a few up there. We have to go up there, though. No, I know we have to go up there, but I'm just saying, like, I just feel like... Did we miss anything? Not yet. Yeah, no, okay, they're over there. Yeah, no, we should be good. But we'll see, viewers. Wow, Guys. if this is the first level that he doesn't get bottles, like, all of the bottles, but I somehow have managed to get, like... Oh, like a good record. That would be the case. I got a voiceover message for the two-bit thief who's making off with all my treasure keys. You dead pally. If I get my hands on you, I'm gonna fit you with your own pair of semen buddy slippers. You hear me? You lunch fake, joint. I actually really enjoy mug shots threats and stuff. I think he's really an enjoyable villain. One, two, three. I think we've got all of them. So. Not getting hit by the Dalmatian this time. As you just said, they were the easiest enemies. I didn't see him, but yes. Alright. One more to go. Yep, and I know precisely where it is, too. Do you? Well, I mean, since it's right there, yeah, I do. Okay, now turn around. <laughs> Alright. On to the safe. The what do you want, Bentley? Enter the vault code. You need an IQ of at least 140 to figure this one out. Dial in 46. Okay, I just want to comment on this real quick. So he says you need an IQ of at least 140 to figure this one out. Then how does Mugshot, the dumb one of the group, figure out these clues? I think he just muscles someone else to do them. Maybe. Oh yeah, this will come in handy. It's Suzanne Cooper's notes pertaining to water. Oh yes. With this knowledge under your belt, oh, man. you won't have to waste a charm. This is the one, you, this is the one you were talking water. about, right? Yeah, this makes the game so <laughs> much better. You fall into water, you don't die. Yeah, you don't lose any health. You don't lose any charms. No, there is no health. You just you don't lose any hits. Yeah. Like honestly, it may not seem so pertinent in this area, but the next the next area. Oh no way! You don't have it. You are just screwed. Like, just curl up in a ball and cry, or go back and get this, or that. However. It is treasure key number six. Yep. Eight and a half minutes. Uh, I think. Uh, okay, unfortunately, guys, we're going to cut it a little short just to be on the safe side. I'm actually going to, I'm just going to quickly. If we even, if I don't mind heading over to the area, yeah, that's I'm no just problem. Yeah, head over to the next area. But I just want to dedicate all of our time to give you guys a fair, you know. We don't want to feel rushed, viewers. Yeah, okay, that's not, that's. We don't find that enjoyable, and, uh, you know, we don't want you guys... We want to give you guys the best experience possible. I do want to check... Is this the last place? This is the last key. This is the last key, guys. So, uh, we're going to probably do this one, and, uh, we'll... Give Mugshot his own video. Yeah, you know, we're trying to we're trying to lengthen this one out, because we do want to give Mugshot his own video. I felt bad, because, you know, we did segue Raleigh... Raleigh with uh, the intro to Mugshot's area. I don't think that, I feel that was a little sloppy, but hey, you know what guys? We're getting back in the swing of things. Hopefully you didn't mind it too much, and we'll see you next time. No, uh, you know what? I actually preferred it like that. So until then, later.